Welcome, this is the Math 5 Tea and Ready practice test. Um, I guess it'd be grade 5 math practice test, wouldn't it, for Tea and Ready? Question number 30, we're in a calculator allowed subpart, subpart 3. The question says, what is 473 and 69 hundredths rounded to the nearest whole number? Enter your answer in space provided. The big thing here is just knowing your place values. So I start out with 1s. So this is a 1s statement. This is, of course, tenths with a th. This is hundreds. This is tens with a s. And this is hundreds. Just tens acting up. All right. But it doesn't say any of those things. So what's whole number mean? Well, whole number means that there's no fraction in it. So you're looking at, the, or sorry, there's no decimal component to it, or fraction component, really. Um, but we're looking at the value to the left of the decimal point. So here's where we're going to go. And then when I was teaching, one of the students that I had came to me and told me that at the middle school that they went to, they would say, okay, look next door, five or more, raise the score. Look next door. You always look to the place value to the right, so the smaller one, because the seven doesn't care what the three is doing. But the you know these guys down here, it's a bit like a hierarchy. Like this three is really concerned with the four and the seven because it wants to look cool because they're old, they're they're higher value. But it only pays attention to these guys if it makes it if it increases its value, so it makes it go up. So look next door, five or more. Is it five or more? Well, six is definitely five or more because five, six, seven, eight, and nine all are five or more in that place. So that means that three, I'm just pulling this part of it out. This is five or more, so check. So this goes up. And the number above three is, of course, four. So it becomes 474. Everything else, since we rounded it, will go away. That doesn't exist anymore. That's kind of the point of rounding in the first place. So when you have rounding questions, figure out what value, and I kind of made it messy looking there. Sorry about that. Find the value that you're trying to round and identify it in some way. Circle it if you can, whatever. Then look next door. If it's five or more, you go up. If it's not, you stay the same. You never go down. You don't round. This will never be 472. It's either going to be 473 or 474. Don't round down. Five or more, raise the score. Otherwise, stay the same. 